Halloween banded. This will be the best Halloween party ever. All this haunted house needs is that jack o' lantern on top. There we go. Honey, have you decided on a costume for Clifford? Not yet. I was thinking maybe a pirate. Or a scuba diver. Or even a race car driver. <laughs> maybe you should think a little simpler. After all, it's Clifford's first Halloween. Ruff, ruff, ruff. What? Where did my... Now Clifford, nobody likes a cookie never. Come on, so Nobody's going to laugh. Mm -mm. I'm not coming out. Hey guys, what's going on? Zoe doesn't like the Halloween costume. But I'm wearing the same thing! That's the problem. Then you come on, Zo. It can't be that bad. Wanna bet? <laughs> oh, you look sweet. A fairy. Ah. Uh, yeah, well, that's, uh... How should I say this? That's very, uh... What? Rugged. You know, very tough. Very tough and rugged. Norval, what costume are you gonna wear? I'm wearing it, you know. I'm going as my cousin Max, and he looks just like me. Wow, that's perfect. You look just like you. Or him, I think. Huh. Hey, where's Jorge? What's he come as? I am the vampire. <laughs> hey, Clifford, wait up. It's me, Jorge. I was just joking. Clifford? Hey, where's my... Oh, Clifford, you brownie bandit. Ooh. Clifford, what a great idea for a costume. <laughs> Mrs. Howard, Emily Elizabeth, this is my cousin Ricardo. He's visiting with us today. Hello, Ricardo. Welcome. Happy Halloween. Thanks. Happy Halloween. Rup, rup. Wow, I've never seen a dog that tiny. He's so cute. Uh-huh, that's Clifford. Say hi to Ricardo. Rup, rup. I wish I had a dog like this. My mom's thinking of getting me one. Hey, Nina, we've got to put on our costumes for the haunted house. Oh, that's right. Come on, Ricardo, we need your help. Boy, not a lot of dog in this hot dog. Hey, I bet Cliff took my dog. Clifford. You know better. Hey guys, guess what I am? Guess what I am? Oh, uh, well that's very easy. You're a uh, talking handkerchief. What? No, I'm a ghost. Boom! <laughs> Oh, yeah. Of course you are there, pup. Yeah, I I I'm just pulling your leash. It's a great outfit. Now, oh, look, Daffy Doodle. You're a potted plant, right? No, I'm a Hawaiian hula dancer. <laughs> See? When are we going into the house? Let's go now. Now, now, now. Yeah, I think now's a good time. But for dessert, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> to all who dare enter my home. <laughs> it's okay, Clifford. It's only me, Emily Elizabeth. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> Very well. Very well. You may enter. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> hey, hey. Ooh, better keep moving. Watch out for the lion. He's been seen around these parts. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for dessert. All right. <laughs> Hey, you forgot your costume! <gasps> oh no! My costume, where is it? Thank you all for contributing so much to our Halloween party. Just looking at these treats, I bet we got some surprises! Hey, who's that? Oh my! Clever, no! Clifford? It can't be! Oh, there he is! What's gotten into Clifford? He's been misbehaving all day! He stole my cookie, and my brownie, and my hot dog. Mom, I just don't believe Clifford would do something like this. Molly Elizabeth is right. It's not like Clifford to do those things. But we did see him on the table. Don't worry, Clifford. I believe you. I don't know who made this mess, but I do know that Clifford didn't do it. Clifford, is there anything you'd like to tell us? Well, I lost my costume and then I found it and now everyone's unhappy. You didn't do this? No. Okay then, if our buddy Clifford said he didn't do it, then he didn't do it. So who did? And what do we do now? Well, I'm very glad you asked that, dear folk. I'm so. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so the way I see it, Boy, this frost is good. See, we need to ask, who's in the courtyard when it happened? Who had the ghost outfit? And who was small enough to fit into the ghost outfit? But that would be me! Besides you, Little Red. Well, whoever did it is probably covered in frosting. But we need to find our paw prints. Covered in frosting? Um, I mean, yes! Say no more, we're on the case! Gotcha. Now here is the real coffee. Oh, please don't tell anyone I'm here. I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. What's your name? I don't have one. Where's your home? I don't have one of those either. Hey, gee, I'm really sorry, little guy. You can't live in a pumpkin. And there is a little puppy who was taking the blame for you. The red puppy? Oh, he looked nice. He is way too nice to get into trouble for something he didn't do. That's just not right. You tell him I'm sorry? Hey, you tell him yourself. You're among friends here. Friends understand. Come on. Come on, little guy. It's okay. Mom, look! A puppy and a pumpkin? Hey, do you think it's our Halloween bandit? I'll bet it is. I knew it wasn't Clifford. Does anybody know this dog? He doesn't have a collar. Oh, I think I've seen him around the neighborhood. Me too. I never saw anyone with him, though. So he must be a stray. No home, no food, no one to love him. I'll be right back. Well, it's understandable why he helped himself to our treats. Poor little puppy. Oh, I guess we owe Clifford an apology. Oh, sorry, Clifford. Jump to conclusions instead of getting all the facts. <laughs> I think Clifford forgives you. But Mom, what should we do about the gray puppy? Well, we take him to the animal shelter and they'll try to find him a home. <laughs> Guess what? I just called my mom and she says I can take the gray puppy home to live with us. Would you like that little guy? <laughs> oh, Ricardo, that's wonderful news. Let's celebrate, everyone. There's still plenty of dessert. <laughs> Well, I, for one, am glad that Halloween's finally over. 
I've had with this costume. Well, I had a great time. I mean, I didn't like the part when people were mad at me about the mess, but I really loved how you guys believed me right away when I said I didn't do it. Thanks a lot. Of course I believed you, Clifford. We're your friends. Absolutely there, puppy. Why, I'd even use the word buddies. Or chumps. Or pals. Oh, hey, I know another great word. Dessert. Dessert! <laughs> Clifford, where are you, boy? Ruff, ruff. Wanna read a story, Clifford? Ruff. Okay, pick one out. <laughs> Thanks, Clifford. This looks like a great story. Today's story is Speckle and the Pen Pals. Early one afternoon, Luna went to check her mailbox. Luna said she loved getting mail, but hadn't gotten any letters in a long time. None of them had gotten a letter of their own in a long time either. Then Speckle said he knew how they could all get mail. They could write letters to each other. Luna wrote about the apple tree in her backyard and the day it blossomed flowers. Reba wrote about her last basketball game and how she scored the winning point. Arnell and Ravi wrote about the great new books they checked out in the library. And Speckle wrote a letter that was all pictures, drawings of every one of his favorite activities. Soon Luna's mailbox was filled with letters, and so were everyone else's. And they enjoyed reading and sharing their very own letters with all of their friends. The end. I love reading stories together. You know, Clifford, you're such a small dog, you sure are a big reader. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Clifford, Mom and I are going to the library, but when I come home, I'll have a new book, and I'll read you a story. Would you like that? I knew you would. We'll be back soon. Hiya, Daffodil. Wow. That's great talk. Thanks. Can I try it? No, it's fragile. It's better if I spin it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Maybe later. I'm going to take a nap in the living room. There's a nice sunny spot by the window. But, Daffodil, how can you take a nap when you got this great toy to play with? I'll manage. But... Oh. It won't hurt to just give it a quick spin. Oh. Again! Again! <laughs> okay! Oh. oh, Clifford, you are so lucky Dad to let you borrow her top. Well, she didn't exactly let me borrow it. She was asleep and I just wanted to try it. Just one more spin. <gasps> <gasps> Hi, broke it! We put things all the time. We don't mean to, but... We're always real sorry. And we'll go play with something else. What a surprise. Let's play hide and seek on playground! Race ya! <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look too bad, Clifford. Yeah, you know it doesn't. I hope Emily Elizabeth can fix it. She can do everything. But she won't be home till later. Yeah. Do you want to play hide and seek with us? Are you awake? Oh, uh, first I gotta tell Daffodil what happened to her top. Oh, ho, 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 bad idea. Hey, listen up there, little red. What do you think is going to happen when you tell Daffodil you broke her favorite toy? Uh, I don't know. Well, I do. 
she is going to be very M.A.D. mad. And who is she going to be mad at? Why are you? You, that's who? Is that what you want? No. Now, on the other hand, if you get it fixed, Bunny will never know it was broken, and everybody is happy. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. <laughs> I'll wait right here for Emily Elizabeth, and everything will be all right. <laughs> Thanks, Norval. <laughs> Clifford, you're making a great game of hide and seek. Jorge found the best new hiding place. Really? Where? Do you see him yet? Not an Emily Elizabeth in sight. Uh oh, new flesh. I see something. Emily Elizabeth? No. It's Daffodil and she's in this way. Quick, hide that top. Oh, oh. oh I just had the loveliest nap. What you do? <gasps> uh, nothing. Standing. What? Just wondering. Well, not much going on out here. I guess I'll go upstairs and play with my toys. Oh. <sighs> If she plays with the toys, she's going to see the top is missing. Don't want to go upstairs. Daffodil, uh, you don't want to go upstairs to play. We play hide and seek with Flo and Zoe. Clifford, that's your favorite game, not mine. You know I'd rather play with one of my nice, quiet toys. But there's lots of toys we can play with right here. Uh, where? Well, right, uh... Um, well, we can play with, uh... Uh, that green ball! <laughs> yeah, come on! Don't you think the ball is a little too big to play with? Oh no, it's the perfect size! Look! <laughs> oh, this is great! <laughs> oh! Okay, Daffodil. <laughs> Your turn. Uh, Clipper, I think you've had enough fun for the both of us. No, wait! We can't leave yet. I can't? No, because, uh, um, because I learned a new trick. Yeah, and I have to show it to you. You can show me later, okay? Yeah, of course, but you're gonna love this trick, Daffodil. It's a triple super tail twist with a half noodle. Oh, wow. Well, I guess I would like to see that. Yeah, hey, who wouldn't? Norval, how do I do a triple super... Uh, what's it? Hey, kid, it's your trick. Okay, here I come. That's no lie. Whoever's not ready, just say I. I. And now we're sending the most spectacular, colossal, amazing little red puppy in the world. Clifford and his triple super tumble twist would have noodles. That's it. Don't worry, I thought it was great. But Babadil is heading toward the stairs, little red. Maybe I should just tell her about the top nibble. Hey, okay, but she's sure gonna be mad. <laughs> Oh, oh, well, where are you going? Upstairs, to get a carrot. Oh, I'll get it for you. <laughs> you know, I'm, uh, practicing fetching. <laughs> ah! oh. Carrot. Thank you, Clifford. But actually, I wanted a real carrot. <sighs> a real carrot? To eat? I'm hungry. It's okay, I'll get it myself. Uh, no, no, uh, let me go. <laughs> I really want it. See, I'm on my way. See? <laughs> Bye! <laughs> 
他他。Thanks, Clipper. That looks like a good one. <sighs> Thanks. But when you're that small, I eat more than one. I'll just go upstairs myself. <sighs> no. <sighs> Let go. Okay. Is Clipper acting a little strange? He's a puppy. That's what puppies do. <laughs> Clifford, uh, you're welcome. Upstairs, huh? Especially when you get to the uh, top. Top? See, that reminds me. After I'm done, let's play with my top. No. Why not? Uh, because. Oh, I don't want you to be mad at me. What are you talking about? Oh, about this. Oh, it broke again. Again? Yeah, that old top is always breaking. So that's why you've been acting so strange. I thought if I got it fixed before you found out, everything would be okay. Oh, I should have just told you right away. Are you mad at me? No. I mean, I wish you told me the truth from the very beginning, but I'm glad you're telling me now. Yeah, me too. Now you see, Red, like I always say, honesty is the best policy. But Norvo, that's not what you said at all. Are you sure? Well, all right, well, okay, fine. All right, well, you know what? That's what I'm going to say the next time around. Hey, there's Emily Elizabeth. I bet she can fix your top. Hi, Clifford. Hi, Daffodil. Mom and I got some really great books from the library. Oh, Daffodil, your top broke again. Well, don't worry. I'll glue it back together. And after it's fixed, I promise I'll never play with it again. Unless you say I can. <laughs> That's a big promise for a little guy, but I think you can keep it. But if you'd like, you can borrow my sock spider for a while. Wow! Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Just take good care of it. We, we will. will. Clifford and his friends know that when they borrow something, it means they're responsible for it. Yuck! I hate rain. Me too. Ew! Sock spider. Clifford said to take good care of it. We can't leave it out there. It'll get all wet. When you act responsible, it shows that you care and that you can be trusted. That's why Clifford's idea to grow on for today is be responsible. Clifford's sock spider is all safe. All dry. <laughs> Party ever. All this haunted house needs is that jack o' lantern on top. Ruff, ruff. Woo! Ruff, ruff. <laughs> 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 
There we go. Honey, have you decided on a costume for Clifford? Not yet. I was thinking maybe a pirate. Or a scuba diver. Or even a race car driver. <laughs> maybe you should think a little simpler. After all, it's Clifford's first Halloween. Ruff, ruff, ruff. What? Where did my... Now, Clifford, nobody likes a cookie napper. Come on, Zo! Nobody's gonna laugh. Mm -mm. I'm not coming out. Hey, guys, what's going on? Zo doesn't like his Halloween costume. But I'm wearing the same thing! That's the problem. When you come on, Zo, it can't be that bad. Wanna bet? <laughs> oh, you look sweet. A fairy. Ah. Yeah, well, that's, uh, how should I say this? That's very, uh... What? Rugged. You know, very tough. Very tough and rugged. Norval, what costume are you gonna wear? I'm wearing it. You know, I'm going as my cousin Max, and he looks just like me. Wow, that's perfect. You look just like you. Or him, I think. Huh. Hey, where's Hori? What's he coming as? I am the vampire! <laughs> hey, Clifford, wait up, it's me, Jorge! I was just joking! Clifford? Hey, where's my... Oh, Clifford, you brownie bandit! What a great idea for a costume! <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Howard, Emily Elizabeth, this is my cousin Ricardo. He's visiting with us today. Hello, Ricardo. Welcome. Happy Halloween! Thanks. Happy Halloween. Rup, rup. Wow, I've never seen a dog that tiny. He's so cute. Uh-huh, <laughs> that's Clifford. Say hi to Ricardo. I wish I had a dog like this. My mom's thinking of getting me one. Hey, Nina. We've got to put on our costumes for the haunted house. Oh, that's right. Come on, Ricardo. We'll need your help. Boy, not a lot of dog in this hot dog. Hey, I bet Clifford took my dog. Clifford. You know better. Hey guys, guess what I am, guess what I am. Oh, well that's very easy. You're a uh, talking handkerchief. What? No, I'm a ghost. Boo! <laughs> Oh, yeah, of course you are there, pup. Yeah, I I I'm just pulling your leash. It's a great outfit. Now, oh, look, that for doodle. You're a potted plant, right? No, I'm a Hawaiian hula dancer. <laughs> See? When are we going into the hot house? Let's go now. Now, now, now. Yeah, I think now's a good time. Before dessert, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> to all who dare enter my home. <laughs> it's okay, Clifford. It's only me, Emily Elizabeth. Ruff, ruff. Ah, very well. Very well. You may enter. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. Ooh, better keep moving. Watch out for the lion. He's been seen around these parts. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for dessert. All right. <laughs>
Hey, you forgot your costume! <gasps> oh no! My costume, where is it? Thank you all for contributing so much to our Halloween party. Just looking at these treats, I bet we got some surprises. Hey, who's that? Oh, oh my! Clifford, no! Clifford? It can't be! Oh, there he is! What's gotten into Clifford? He's been misbehaving all day! He stole my cookie! And my brownie! And my hot dog! Mom, I just don't believe Clifford would do something like this! Emily Elizabeth is right. It's not like Clifford to do those things. But we did see him on the table. Don't worry, Clifford. I believe you. I don't know who made this mess, but I do know that Clifford didn't do it. <sighs> Clifford, is there anything you'd like to tell us? Well, I lost my costume, and then I found it, and now everyone's unhappy. You didn't do this? No. Okay, then. If my buddy Clifford said he didn't do it, then he didn't do it. So who did? And what do we do now? Well, I'm very glad you asked that, dear folk. I'm so. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so the way I see it, 